my name is Melissa London and I'm an undergraduate at Hunter College in New York City. I'm presenting my research at the 23rd annual APS convention in Washington, D.C. My research is entitled Eat, Pray, Work Out, the Effects of Co Various Coping Methods on Health. Um, I started this project because there's a lot of literature on there's a lot of literature on general coping methods as referred to as problem-focused coping or avoidant-focused coping and appraisal-focused coping. However, there's not much research on specific behavioral coping methods. So with data from a survey that had 1,600 student participants from an undergraduate college, I analyzed eating to cope, spir turning spirituality to cope, and exercising to cope with two different stress measures, one that measured stress within six months and one that measured stress on a global year measure. Um, and the results were interesting because eating to cope turned out to be a functional buffer for life satisfaction in the short term, but a dysfunctional buffer on somatic symptoms, depressive symptoms, and anxiety symptoms in the long term. Exercising to cope and religious coping both turned out to be functional buffers on, of stress on health in various ways, leading to lower amounts of depressive symptoms and somatic symptoms. However, exercise coping also led to higher levels of hostility, which was interesting since this was a normal population. Um, in the future, it'd be, it'd be great if people took more interest in specific coping measures and did more research on these coping methods on a long-term basis, maybe using longitudinal studies. Um, so it's been great presenting my research here at the APS convention, and I've, I've gone to a couple of the symposiums. One of my favorite ones what included George Bernano and other scholars interested in bereavement, stress, and grief. Um, but there was also a conversation between David Brooks and Michelle, which was also very interesting, and I hope everybody enjoyed the footage.